Dear friends, uh, once again I'm ready to answer the very interesting questions that you've uh, sent to us. Thank you very much. And uh, let me start by a question by Effendi. How to pronounce your name according to Russian spelling? My name is Lyudmila Georgievna Vorobyova. In Russia we use three names. It's your own name, which you are given at the birth. My name is Lyudmila. It's the name of your father, Georgievna. That means that I'm daughter of Georgi. And the family name, Vorobyova that all my uh, family member, member uh, use. Uh, actually, the name Lyudmila is a very old uh, name and it has a meaning. It means people like her or uh, nice to people. So in Russian, it sounds Lyudmila Georgievna Vorobyova. The next question is from uh, Rudy Tsuasana. How does Russia respond to Katsa sanction imposed by the US on those countries that are buying Russian military equipment? Might that be the reason why Suhoi 35 contract has not been realized until now and what the solution could be in this case? First of all, let me say that we deem uh, the unilateral sanctions imposed by the United States on the countries that are buying Russian military equipment as totally uh, unlawful, illegitimate and discriminating. And uh, of course, uh, they uh, shouldn't uh, be, uh, these sanctions shouldn't be practiced and should be condemned by the international community because they violate the sovereign right of uh, any country to buy defense equipment from whoever this country uh, deems uh, necessary. Uh, of course, uh, taking into consideration the U.S. economic might, these sanctions could uh, hurt the economy of the country uh, concerned. But uh, basically it's a political decision uh, whether this or that can country is uh, pursuing uh, an independent uh, foreign policy and uh, is uh, not uh, pressured by anyone to take the decision it doesn't want. So uh, this kind of sanctions, of course, is uh, blackmail and uh, uh, unfair competition. Uh, Russian defense equipment is uh, of a high quality and it has been proven in real war situation, like in our operations in Syria, where, where Suhoi 35 have shown to be very efficient. And uh, the cost uh, is very competitive as well. So the United States are basically trying to blackmail and push the other countries into buying their own equipment. Nevertheless, uh, we have many partners in the world that are buying our defense equipment, uh, including uh, some countries uh, in the uh, region, in Asia. And of course, uh, we hope that uh, despite all the pressure from outside Indonesia, whom we see are as our traditional partner and friend, will still go on in uh, purchasing uh, Russian equipment. Indonesia has this uh, experience in using Russian defense equipment and so far I know it has proved to be uh, very good. The next question is about uh, cultural uh, and historical historical research collaboration between uh, Russia and Indonesia from Panji Topan Bahagya. Um, th this uh, question also mentions about Manjushri Arapachana statue in the Hermitage. Uh, unfortunately, I've uh, never seen this statue in the Hermitage, so next time I'm in St. Petersburg, uh, definitely I will go and uh, see uh, this uh, statue. Uh, yes, there are some cultural collaboration going on between our two countries and one of the very good examples was uh, the exhibition of uh, paintings of uh, Russian artists that uh, the embassy uh, together with the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Indonesia uh, organized uh, in 2020, in February 2020, to celebrate uh, our um, 
70 years of our bilateral diplomatic relations. Uh, this uh, exhibition showed uh, more than 40 paintings by renowned Russian artists. Uh, basically, it was Indonesia through the eyes of Russian artists because this group of painters worked in Indonesia for a long time and that uh, was the result of their work. Also, uh, now we are working on uh, uh, organizing a virtual exhibition in the National Gallery um, of uh, some uh, of the artifacts that we have in uh, one of our museum in Moscow is the Museum of Oriental Art and also there are some exhibits from uh, Indonesia. Also one of our uh, famous painters uh, has the intention to uh, present some of his works to the National Gallery when it happens. Uh, you're most welcome to go and have a look at these uh, paintings. The next question is from Win Sarbudin. I would like to export honey from wild bees to Russia. However, I have problems interacting with buyers in your country and other obstacles. Uh, what is the formal procedure one should follow to successfully export import goods to and from uh, Russia? And some other um, uh, people are also uh, asking uh, questions on how to do business with um, Russia. Uh, my advice uh, for those who want to uh, establish business uh, contacts uh, with uh, Russian partners is to uh, contact uh, the Russian trade mission in Indonesia, in Jakarta. We have a trade mission uh, the job of this mission actually is to promote uh, businesses from uh, both countries uh, and to establish contact and to find business contacts for uh, companies and people who would like to do uh, business in Russia. So uh, you can uh, actually Google uh, the uh, trade mission of the Russian Federation. They have an um, internet site and uh, all the contacts are, are there so you can write them or you can uh, give them a call so uh, if you really want to do business in Russia uh, please uh, contact our uh, trade mission in Jakarta. Uh, another interesting question is about the Russian military exercises Zapad uh, if they were held as the preparation for war against the NATO countries in Europe. Well, for those who are uh, not aware, um, Zapad actually it means West uh, or Barat uh, is um, a military exercise, joint military exercises uh, conducted by the armed forces of uh, Russia and Belarus, um, and it's a regular event which is uh, held. Um, once in two years by the agreement reached between the president of the Russian Federation and the president Belarus as far away as 2009. So it is a regular event and uh, the character of this uh, military exercises is uh, absolutely uh, non-aggressive. It doesn't present a threat to any uh, third country. Uh, we don't have any intention to launch a war against, be it NATO or any other country or um, military organization. So uh, the purpose of uh, this um, exercise is to ensure uh, that our country is uh, well protected uh, against any foreign aggression. But once again, I would like to uh, stress that we don't ha have any intention to launch any war against anyone. We are open and free for dialogue and uh, cooperation. But of course, as any sovereign country, we have the right to protect ourselves, to defend ourselves. So uh, that's why these military exercises uh, are uh, conducted. Uh, the next question is from Siti Rahayo. Uh, is there any relationship between Indonesia and Russia in the health sector? 
uh, yes, uh, we uh, have contacts between our uh, ministries of health and uh, our national uh, regulators on drug and um, uh, products, elementary products. Um, if you don't know, I would like to uh, um, draw your attention that uh, Russian anti-COVID vac vaccine uh, Sputnik V has been officially registered in Indonesia in August this year and we hope that uh, Sputnik V will come into uh, to Indonesia and uh, will contribute to our common fight against the COVID-19 uh, pandemic. Uh, we uh, also are promoting some of uh, Russian um, antiviral um, medication to uh, be distributed in uh, Indonesia. Uh, we also uh, hope that uh, we can discuss the possibility to produce anti-COVID uh, vaccines uh, in Indonesia and this kind of uh, talks are uh, going on between our respective uh, agency. Also, we're working on a memorandum of understanding between our two uh, ministries uh, of health that will uh, boost, uh, when it will be signed, uh, cooperation between our two countries. The next uh, question, and uh, probably the last one for today, uh, is from Alifian Riski Pratama. Um, and he's asking about the economic development in the Siberian region. Uh, Siberia uh, covers around two-thirds of uh, Russia's uh, territory. You know that Russia is a Eurasian country, so one-third of our territory is in Europe and two-thirds is in Asia, including Siberia and uh, the Far Eastern uh, region. Um, this region is very rich in national resources of all kinds, uh, but uh, it is much less populated than the European part of uh, uh, our country, only 6% of our population uh, lives in this region. So, uh, of course, uh, it is uh, extremely important for us to develop this uh, uh, region. Uh, if uh, we look at uh, Russia's economy at large, uh, according to the latest statistics, uh, it has recovered from uh, the last year shock caused by the COVID-19 pandemic and the forecast uh, for the, our GDP growth is around 4% by the end of this year, which is uh, very good for our uh, country. And uh, of course, also the accent is on the uh, development of our Siberian and uh, Far Eastern region. Uh, there is a special uh, national program that has been adopted last year by our government uh, on the development of these uh, regions till the year uh, 2024 and uh, in the long run till the year 2035. Uh, there is a lot of measures that our government intends to take. Uh, to uh, and implement in order to develop these regions. Uh, I cannot say that uh, Siberian region is underdeveloped. In this region we have a lot of um, enterprises, for instance, uh, joint enterprises with the Japan producing uh, cars. We have a large shipbuilding uh, facilities there. Uh, we have electric electricity generating facilities there. Uh, but uh, still, of course, a lot more can be done. Uh, also, we have a program for our nationals, um, our government, um, for those who are willing to develop uh, this region, provides a one hectare of uh, land. It is free uh, with the only condition that it will be uh, developed agriculturally. Um, and uh, the results uh, will be uh, evident uh, to our government. So many people have already um, decided to take this uh, one hectare of land in the um, in, in our Asian uh, part of our country. Also, it is evident that we cannot uh, develop successfully this part of our country if we don't cooperate closely with our 
uh, neighbors and friends uh, in uh, Asia, with uh, China, of course, South Korea, Japan, and ASEAN countries, including uh, Indonesia. So that is our uh, strategic view of how uh, we can develop this very important part of our country. So thank you very much for your questions and uh, we are looking forward to some more uh, interesting questions from you. Terima kasih.